The iOS 12.1.4 update is out, and it's a very important update. I'm Josh Smith with Gotta Be Mobile. I want to share a few things you need to know about this security fix update, including why you should install it today and one reason you may want to wait. Recently, it came to light that there was a bug in group FaceTime. This is a feature that allows multiple people to join a FaceTime video or FaceTime audio call. And with this bug, people could eavesdrop onto a conversation. And if the person on the other end of the line pushed the power button, it would actually allow someone to view video without them knowing. It was a major bug. Apple responded by turning off the group FaceTime servers. So right now, even if you didn't have this update installed, you weren't vulnerable anymore. The main point of the iOS 12.1.4 update is to fix this problem. So if you have FaceTime enabled on any of your iOS devices, you're gonna to want to install this update. Soon after the iOS 12.1.4 update rolls out and it gains traction on users' devices, we expect that Apple will enable group FaceTime at the server level again. That could mean if you don't update that you're going to be vulnerable to that same bug if someone else trying to use it is on an older version of iOS. With that in mind, you definitely want to install the iOS 12.1.4 update today. It's a small update. It shouldn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes to install. And we expect that Apple will give us a day or two, maybe in the next week before they turn on group FaceTime. That way more people can get the benefits of this fix. Apple may add in some bug fixes, but we're expecting them to save most new features for the iOS 12.2 update, which we expect will arrive in the next couple of months. It's already in developer beta. So you're not going to be installing this 12.1.4 update for features. You're installing it for a very important security fix, and that's a reason to install it today without waiting. Now, there's two reasons why you might wanna hold off just a little bit. And I don't recommend holding off for very long, maybe hold off a couple hours just to be safe. The first is make sure that no one has major issues with this update. This has been a pretty rushed update, although Apple did delay it about a week after their promised time frame. And with that, we could see other issues. So if you wait after this update comes out and let other people install it first and find out if there are any other big game breaking bugs, you're gonna be better off. You're not gonna to have to downgrade or deal with those bugs. So if you're worried, maybe wait until this evening or wait until tomorrow morning before you install. The only other reason that I wouldn't install this update is if you're traveling with spotty internet connectivity or you don't have access to your backups, you're gonna be better off turning off FaceTime on your iPhone and we have a guide. You can check out a link down in the description and then install this update as soon as you're back to a place with better internet connectivity. That's a quick look at what's in iOS 12.1.4 and why you should install it. Most users should take steps today to install this update, take a little bit of time, make sure it's installed, and be protected against that vulnerability. For more, you can check out gottabemobile.com. There's a link down in the description to everything else that you need to know about this new update, as well as more reasons not to and reasons to install the latest iOS updates. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give us a like, leave us a comment and let us know any questions you have about this update or other iOS updates and subscribe for more from Gotta Be Mobile.